So I've been having a little trouble lately finding inspiration to make art, whether it be painting or drawing, sketching, whatever, um, outside of school that is. So when I heard of Steven Universe and how everyone liked it, um, I don't know, I've been wanting to try a new style for a while. Um, so I guess this is more cartoony, which is definitely, um, straying from my usual style, which is realism. Um, so yeah, I thought I would do an episode, or like one painting per episode of Steven Universe. Um, (laughs) I kind of enjoyed this process. It took a really long time, so... I mean, originally I was thinking of doing once one painting a day, but that, I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> um, I mean, there's like a lot of details in this piece, um, like as there is with every other, you know, animation scene. So maybe once a week or something like that, but hopefully this will help to get my inspiration back or at least help remove some of this art block. Um, so right now I'm doing line work with the Sakura, let me see. Alright, I don't know what it's called, but maybe it's not Sakura, it's um, oh here it is. It's called, oh that's right, it's Tombow, um, it's a Tombow brush pen, calligraphy pen. Um, so yeah, I'm doing the line work. I know it's not exactly like this scene um, in, C- in Steven Universe, there are some elements I didn't draw, perhaps I could have moved Steven's head down a bit, but you know, it's turning out okay. Um, there's suddenly like a perspective twist to this, which um, I don't know, it's like kind of top down and I haven't really worked in that perspective before, so that was interesting. Um, and some of the elements are not in the right. <laughs> um, anyways, it's not exactly, you know, to scale or exactly how it is in this scene, but, you know, it's okay. And wow, after erasing um, all my pencil marks, it looks really satisfying. Um, so here, I started painting, and um, to be honest, this brush pen, this brush, paintbrush, whatever I'm using, it had something like blue acrylic paint in it, um, so it's an Arteza paintbrush, um, the one that can hold water in the body of the pen or the brush, um, and I was really lazy at this point to get up and get a cup of water so I can change my, um, so I can change my, uh, colors, but I eventually did get up, um, to get a cup of water. Um, also, I do apologize for the shakiness and the <laughs> the changing angles. Um, so I'm holding the phone um, while I'm painting, and it's, it's a little tiring. Um, oh yeah, the face. Um, I kind of got impatient. I wanted to paint the eyebrows black. Uh, so now I know I should have painted just the entire skin first and then done the black so that, you know, what well, also should have waited for the paint to dry, but I was just so impatient. Um, but it's okay, you know, the more you do things, the more you learn. Um, I'm hoping in future paintings to take a more, I don't know, to take a more watercolor, um, vibe than to go for more opaque, um, I don't know, I think it's a, a nice touch, and when I go too heavy on the gouache, sorry, that's the medium I'm using right now, when I go too heavy on the gouache, it, I don't know, I don't really like the effect it has, you know, maybe I should just work with watercolor instead of gouache, um, but also next time I think I'll be using different paint brushes, um, <laughs> anyways, here, I'm finishing up the skin, finally, And again, I was too impatient to let the eyebrows dry. Um, So, you know, there's some imperfections on the face, but it's okay. I think it turned out pretty well, considering it's my first painting 
in a while. And here's a comparison between mine and the actual scene. Thanks for watching.